so um, recently covered a lot of topics that are current with me in uh, learning from some other TI just to sort of recap um, I've gotten uh, a Tesla coil I think is what it amounts to and I've sent around on Facebook and Twitter a link to shielding from R&M that describes the equipment. It's like 12, 13 bucks. Uh, looks like it belongs in a computer, has like large wheels on it. I think where the Tesla coil generation happens needs a 30 volt power supply, which I purchased for like 64 bucks. And then the item itself was like 12 or 13. And I've gotten the um, 30 volt power generator here in the mail already. Um, perps in my head expressed intent to intercept the package and you know test it and see what how effective it is and making me harder to see for their electromagnetic frequency broadcast uh, you know getting lost in the uh, few word explanations about the fourth and fifth dimension and stuff um, I'm more comfortable describing what's very very similar to what's going on with Kevin Christian and I as EMF broadcasting. They can throw their consciousness here where I'm at and their body's catatonic in another location. And um, so I'm gonna have my Tesla coil and test it. There, it's It jives with uh, TI's disclosure I saw in um, Germany that was suffering the same tortures and it makes you harder to see to get tortured. And I have, um, a really limited budget on SSI being a targeted individual and that's often our plight is that they keep us really poor for control purposes but uh, investing in a $33 0.5 millimeter um, lead cap in addition to that I have the baby monitor that's non Wi-Fi running static for the radio that's some other advice I've gotten uh, the N52 level magnet, uh, digital dark age chastity belt for the straight guys getting broadcasts into their body. I've got a laser pointer. I haven't really had to use that. I got that out of Kevin's discoveries. It on, Him like, catching reflective surfaces and catching the broadcast that way, I wouldn't probably have thought of that on my own. I really am thankful to Kevin Christian because it, it accidentally sort of got, rep, or definitely got replicated in my case. I was doing an, a YouTube, it's on, I think, on my YouTube, and I'm wearing these sunglasses, and then I, I replayed the video, and in the uh, reflection of the sunglass, you could see an EMF avatar in the computer screen that you normally couldn't see. And that's just one level of the complexity of the Patsy system and the deception. But he's right on there. Oh, progress with uh, my staff here. Uh, I think I want to mention again, Sequoia Mental Health through LifeWorks is talking about my mental health in relation to electromagnetic form perpetrators. So that's a real mark of progress. I feel like the legislation that's on the – there's somebody's drafted a bill, I think, in um, – this state of California to protect TIs. There was a rally recently. The censorship that kind of went on in the last week, week and a half has been corrected to some degree. Catherine Horton's Twitter's still down, but maybe back up. Uh, Kevin Christian has an extension on his YouTube channel. I had a video that was describing these portals that um, fail safe instructions on evacing after death. Uh, so a video that I was using and referencing on my website that got taken down, but the creator of it made another one. So bumps in the road or otherwise hiccups on trying to hide some pretty valuable information for people that are TI that are whistleblowers and under other like industries and shit like that. Um, that's really valuable information 
and releasing that just like here you go uh for the luciferian agenda of like make everybody a brain computer interface tortured human like i've been for the last 15 years that's um goes in direct uh, conflict with the satanic agenda that's been my life for 15 years as a ti so those are the some of the things going on with me out here in the northwest things are a lot better for me i've done a lot of deep programming there's i think i mentioned this in some tweets there's this um, terror torture package of program going around of uh, getting tortured to be in favor of like the end of the world uh false witness uh, satanism trying to implicate jehovah's witnesses and an excuse to torture and the world will still go on but i had this same conversation from a patient that i met who was a new ti uh, i think she's been a ti a year now she survived she hasn't died but she was getting tortured so horrendously and mind controlled and brainwashed she was um, also in favor of ending the physical world and maybe a little bit more than that um, so I've recovered from that or otherwise deprogrammed from it. You know, the spring weather doesn't hurt, definitely. You know, in, indoor gardening, um, help that I've gotten in reading that I have on neuro-linguistic programming recently has been very disarming uh, for my perpetrators because that's more or less the technique that they've been using consistently for 15 years. So learning more about my perpetrators and the psychotic um sociopathic and narcissistic spectrum of mental disorder often it where it's been so far from unfortunately women who've married them and done their unfortunate painful research on how these monsters tick that's been something on the table so censorship some progress in possible legislation in Florida, I'm still alive. I'm looking forward to living to, you know, maybe 70 or 80 or however it pulls out. The um, perps that were like impersonating my family or like calling my mom using my voice and saying something horrible weren't able to um, destroy my relationships with my mom and my dad, which is really fortunate. That satanic misdirection with people can be wicked awful. And then you, you, you don't know that your eyes are being fooled in front of you. It's not really your mom or your dad screaming at you. It's an EMF perpetrator who's in some other location laying catatonic in their feces, urine, and other fluids, as I was discussing. Um, accusing of what they were doing, the narcissistic personality type is being, in some ways, uh, well, definitely ways put to work in this police state community policing apparatus that's been repeated in history. I've talked about, you know, these tactics, absent all these, you know, EMF mind control and these other advances and torture and the satanic agenda. Um, this took down uh, Germany and the USSR. Um, Patsy systems or satanic misdirection and things like that are extremely uh, deceptive and complicated um, and I'm happy for small things you know I really love um, reading writing listening to music uh, I've got some guinea pigs that are fun to take care of and feed moments of peace and quiet when my perpetrators aren't talking in my head I really appreciate and, and enjoy those they're sparse but they happen periodically um, throughout the course of a day. I have really good sleep. Um, that's been a nice, refreshing thing for me. What else is sort of going on with this Northwest targeted individual? Um, I've started uh, like getting into small like groups of other TIs and maybe even identifying one or two and then sort of talking um, together. And that's been good um i i uh hope the best for myself and it used to be more so 
as a leaderly Christian genome male, I had a pronounced, as some would call it, a herding instinct and um, some leadership um, ability. As a TI in some ways, and I've heard it described this way, you're forced to be sort of selfish. Um, and and by selfish, I mean for me trying to like do therapy all day, so I'm mitigating my torture, not working a job, uh, trying to avoid workplace mobbing and all the other things that can happen to a TI. So I uh, hope you guys have a good springtime. I'm deprogrammed from rendered into world death and want to sort of raise the alarm for maybe other TI that may be getting that same trauma-based mind control. So, peace.